Sri Lanka is an island nation with a rich cultural heritage and a written history of over 2,500 years. Nestled below the southern tip of India, Sri Lanka is home to 21 million ethnically diverse people, including Sinhalese, Tamils, Muslims, Burgers, and Malays. It is Asia's oldest democracy and the rising star of the Asian economy. Situated at the center of global shipping routes, it plays a vital role in international trade, linking east and west and serving as a major transshipment hub in the fast-growing South Asian subcontinent. The country is famous for its world-renowned Ceylon teas, blue sapphires, rubies, rubber products, and Ceylon cinnamon. Sri Lanka's apparel industry is also known for its high-quality products and is recognized globally as a source for garments without guilt. The United States is Sri Lanka's largest export market. The future looks brighter for Sri Lanka's economy in every way. It has one of the world's best performing stock exchanges. A few more important facts. Sri Lanka's gross domestic product was 8.2% in 2010 and 8.4% in 2011. Per capita income has tripled since 2003. Sri Lanka's annual inflation rate is the lowest it's been in 24 years and unemployment has declined to about 4%. International financial organizations upgraded Sri Lanka's sovereign rating universally in 2011. That same year, Sri Lanka's Global Competitiveness Index rose from 62nd place to 52nd place, and its Doing Business Index rose from 98th to 89th, one of the top rankings in Asia. U.S. investors have responded very positively buying 43% of a recent $1 billion government bond issue, the largest portion. What's more, the bond issue was oversubscribed by seven and a half times, clearly demonstrating strong investor confidence. Sri Lanka has also seen a booming rise in tourism. As a world-class destination, Sri Lanka offers breathtaking tropical forests, beaches, mountainous landscapes, wildlife, and UNESCO World Heritage Sites that have long been praised by travel writers. National Geographic Traveler and Condé Nast Traveler both recently named Sri Lanka as one of the globe's top tourist destinations in 2012. That recognition follows similar notices in 2010 when the New York Times named Sri Lanka as top tourist destination and National Geographic again named Sri Lanka as one of its 25 best trips of the year. In 2011, tourist arrivals totaled 856,000 an increase of 72% over 2009. Sri Lanka has launched a new five-year plan to boost tourism, expecting 2.5 million tourists and annual revenue of 2.75 billion U.S. dollars by 2016. The government of Sri Lanka, working with the private sector, has launched a program to double luxury hotel room capacity to 45,000 rooms by that time. Some of the world's top hotels, including Shangri-La, Marriott International, and Ritz-Carlton and Starwood Sheraton, will soon have new hotels in Sri Lanka. Film production has also experienced a surge in Sri Lanka. The country's diverse settings have made it a highly sought-after destination for shooting movies, television programming, and commercials. The Location Guide, a comprehensive resource for the film industry, has hailed Sri Lanka's natural beauty, concluding, when you visit Sri Lanka, it is plain to see why the world's best-known film directors chose it as a location. In May 2009, when Sri Lanka prevailed in a decades-long internal conflict, a U.S. Senate report called the victory one of the few times in history that a terrorist group has ever been defeated. Since then, Sri Lanka has returned to lasting peace and prosperity. The government, with the assistance of foreign aid, has invested $1 billion annually to redevelop regions affected by the conflict. Houses, roads, bridges, utilities, rail lines, schools, hospitals, and public buildings have been rebuilt and social development programs are underway. A key to reconciliation has been the government's independent Lessons Learned in Reconciliation Commission. The government has pledged to adopt the commission's recommendations. Sri Lanka's leaders understand that people are the nation's greatest asset. Through enormous effort and amazing 9 out of 10 Sri Lankans read fluently and life expectancy is 75 years, an extraordinary rate in South Asia. Sri Lanka offers its citizens both national education through college and national health care. The infant mortality rate is also low and poverty is on the decline. In fact, in just 10 years, the poverty rate has dropped more than 10 percent and the country is on course to reducing the poverty level to just 8 percent by 2015. 
Much has changed since Sri Lankans gained universal suffrage in 1931 and independence from the British in 1948. In 2010, elections were held throughout the entire country for the first time since 1983. In fact, Sri Lankans went to the polls twice in 2010, first to elect a president and then a new parliament. The people re-elected President Mahinda Rajapaksa in January with a record mandate. In the April parliamentary election, the President's Party won two-thirds of the vote. Local government elections were also held nationally in 2011. Since May 2009, Sri Lanka has experienced tremendous political, social, and economic transformation. The country has been rejuvenated by a renewed commitment to peace, reconciliation, and prosperity. Sri Lanka's current progress is noteworthy. Its leaders understand the needs of Sri Lankans and the nation's place in the bustling marketplace of Asia and the world. They are working to nurture Sri Lanka's potential while ensuring that peace, security, and prosperity will touch all Sri Lankans. Sri Lanka truly is the wonder of Asia.